Mostly for the last about, actually about 14 years. I've been making, no, now it's 15 years, making things about the body. And I started from making microscopic images of the body from Gray's Anatomy to going out and making figurative art. Uh, and now I'm in something going in back and forth in between, but now also being outside the body, I want to kind of go into the world and make other things or other kinds of images or something. So I have really no idea what I'm doing, but I just do what it tells me to do, kind of. Kiki Smith came to New York in 1976 and became a charter member of Collaborative Projects Incorporated, or CoLab. CoLab was dedicated to bringing art to the out-of-the-way fringe areas of New York. They held exhibitions in rundown buildings, produced a weekly public access television program, and opened a non-commercial art store on New York's Lower East Side that sold cheap, handmade art products to the residents of the neighborhood, Kiki's work included. Kiki never went to art school, but she does come from a family of artists. Her father is the noted minimalist sculptor, Tony Smith. Her grandfather was an altar carver, and her sister, Seton, is an artist as well. In 1988, Kiki held her first one-woman show at the Fallbush Gallery in Soho. Subsequently, she's had many exhibitions. I like more just that you make things from your own experience, that it's more like just responding exp from your experiences in your life, and that your work, like for me, that my work's just a reflection of sort of what's happening in my life at a given moment or something. And so that it changes rather than having kind of like a purpose to it, like I have no purpose to it or something. It's more just react, like being reactive. That's a place where I really trust myself, that if I take care of my work, it will sort of take care of me. You know, if I'm really attentive to it, it will, you know, make my life okay or something like that.